Wait a minute, I hear a lucky one. <gasps> a lucky Cremus? Oh, we gotta get it. Are you guys ready? I think we need a little pep talk. All right, Daydream, Lift Monk, come here. You can do it. I know you can. You don't scare me? Okay, yeah, you do, a little bit. I'm out of arrows, no! Come on, we're gonna ax his little butt. Yes! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Pal World, my favoritest game ever, at least for right now, until I find something shiny and new, but hopefully that won't be for a while. Anyhow, we have a big problem today. Take a look at the top right of the screen. Do you see that big, ugly rectangle that says tutorial? Challenge the boss at Rain Syndicate's tower. Make sure your pals and equipment are in top condition. Well, I am tired of that being there. We need to do something about that today. And that is going to mean we're going to have to do some things that aren't really that cozy. But thankfully, we have a party full of pals that should help us. I am not quitting today until we beat the boss and I get rid of that unsightly rectangle on the top right of the screen. I know it's being nitpicky, but it's really been bugging me. So let's go ahead and do that today. By the way, if you didn't see my last Let's Play where we talked about our cozy house and we decorated our cozy little house and base there, look at that. We found a lucky cat. Look how adorable he is. He's giant. I love Lucky Cativa. Anyhow, before we go, oh, hello, Mr. Mammoth. I do not want to tango with you. Let's see how we are on spheres. I don't think we're going to be able to capture this boss. I probably need a yellow sphere or better. We have plenty of arrows, and I just need to make sure I equip my bow here. And... Let's see if we can make any better spheres. Oh, we can make some yellow ones. Okay, how many? Two. We need more ingot. And we have some more ingot. We're going to craft some more spheres. And then let's go ahead and go to bed and start off first thing in the morning. We are refreshed and I think we are ready to go. We've got arrows, spheres and I have daydream with me so I should be able to have two pals out. I'm hoping that gives me an advantage. Let's go over to the pal box and see if we can fast travel. I think the tower is oh you know what it's over here. We're going to have to travel I guess down to here and then let's walk it. Wait a minute I hear a lucky one. <gasps> A lucky Cremus? Oh, we gotta get it. Okay, I'm going to tell Daydream not to attack. What is that? Okay, attack, attack, attack. We're wasting a lot of arrows on this, but I really want this beautiful lucky pal. we got her yes again I always seem to find my lucky pals after I fast travel I think that's the fourth time that's happened to me so if you're trying to find lucky pals go and fast travel somewhere and then listen oh gosh this this guy wants to fight no 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 no, no. I don't want to fight I got no beef with you I'm just trying to go to the tower I see it. There's the ominous tower where we might lose our life. Ooh, Palsphere. Yoink. I'm so used to having a Nightwing with me because the other world that I play in off camera, I fly everywhere. We need to get a Nightwing, but that is not the name of the game for today. Let's go and activate this fast travel. So in case we die, we can come back here fast to die again. Makes sense, right? Oh, another pal sphere and a dungeon. Again, something to do another day and not today. Let's go ahead and activate this. Nice. And go up to the tower. Are you guys ready? I think we need a little pep talk. All right. Daydream. Lift Monk. Come here. Come here. Come here, Lift Monk. You can do it. I know you can. You're strong. 
daydreamed and me to help you. Okay. <laughs> you think that worked? All right, all alone. We have 10 minutes to do this. We have six gigaspheres. I don't know if we can capture her. Here goes nothing. Join the boss battle. Oh gosh. This is Zoe and Grizzbolt, right? So this must be Zoe. And her pal is looking very fierce. Holy cow. Oh yeah. Okay, Zoe. You don't scare me. Okay, yeah, you do. A little bit. Attack aggressively. Let's see if we can just kind of hide out here. Oh. Wait a minute. Lift Monk couldn't... I can't use him as a... Oh, dear. It's locked. This looks like an electric spirit. If I remember right, ground is going to be the spirit to fight it the best, but I don't know... I don't think I have any ground with me. Oh! You're fast. Alright. How about... Let's bring out Fox Sparks. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Maybe we bring out Dinosaur. Oh, don't cover. Don't cover your face. Oh! I don't know if we can beat this guy. Okay, Melpaca. Ooh, Melpaca's doing a decent amount of damage. Come on, headshots. Headshots. I don't know if they make any difference. Oh no. No. Come on, Melpaca. We got it over half. I'm out of arrows! No! I had a hundred and some arrows. Okay, this is not good. All I have left, I can use my axe. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to try this. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna axe his little butt. Pal team is hungry. Really? In the middle of battle? That's what we need to worry about? Can I stop and feed them? without dying we're gonna get melpaca everybody some food there we go we fed them two minutes two minutes melpaca i don't think we can capture this pile at least not with the yellow sphere we're gonna do it we got this yes yes oh my goodness melpaca was the best of the pals i brought that is awesome. We did it. I didn't enjoy it. I don't really like fights like that, especially without a higher level weapon like I have in my other world. <laughs> oh, I got sweaty armpits on that one. But now look on the top right of the screen. It's gone. We have completed the tutorial in Pow World and have that ugly eyesore as a thing of the past. And now let's go ahead and unlock this fast travel right here. We have unused stat points. Let's go and spend those. Now, if I had not been playing this on cozy mode, I would have died there for sure. I would have perished, but we're on cozy mode. And that was as cozy as I could make it. Where should we add this other point here? Stamina, work speed, you know what? We're going to put it in health, even though we're on cozy mode. And then let's go and check on our pals. The pals seem good. They just got a little hungry. <laughs> and we got some tech points, too. Is there anything we want to unlock in ancient technology? <gasps> the egg incubator. Yes. Let's go ahead and unlock that. I suppose let's do this one. I don't already have the metal axe unlocked. I guess let's do that in the pickaxe. I thought I had those. 
I basically kill Grizzbolt with my axe and Melpaca. Let's unlock the crossbow. That would have helped a lot. However, I know this one exists, the fire crossbow. That will come into play later. I think that's good for now. Oh, we're gonna need the cooler because if we wanna incubate eggs, that will be a big help and the heater will too. And we have used everything up that I wanna use right now. Let's head back home. If we happen to find a Nightwing on the way home, that would be just fantastic. So let's head south, this direction, and see what we can find. See what trouble we can get into. I see that Lift Monk effigy up there. You see it? If I had Nightwing, I could easily go and grab that. But I see an egg, and we have the egg incubator unlocked. Ooh, that was a big one, too. Hey, penguin. Heading south. I think this might be the area where Nightwing hangs out. Oh, there. Right there, right there, right there. Okay, dismount. And let's get our arrows out. And we're going to have to tell these guys not to attack because I don't want them to kill Nightwing. And let's get our... Green sphere is ready. Green sphere. Okay, here we go. Can we get Nightwing? Oh dear. Or is Nightwing going to get us? Oh, at least you're down here. Okay, is that enough? That's enough. Come on. Yay, we got a Nightwing. Our first Nightwing in this world. It carries newborn pals to its nest and raises them as a surrogate parent. Once the baby pal has fattened up, what did it say? I missed it. What happens after the baby pal has fattened up? Please tell me they don't eat it. There's another Nightwing. This is a level nine. Oh, this is a male. I mean, I'm getting a little greedy here, but let's do it. Let's do it. I missed. I missed. I think we did it. 82%. This Fox Sparks is really annoying. We got a male and a female Nightwing. Now we get to choose. I'm going to take care of this guy. And I should not have used that sphere. But we got another Fox Sparks. I am completely content with everything we have done. Wait a minute, do you see that, Depresso? I don't think we have that one in this game yet. Am I out of arrows? Okay. Can I beat the Depresso? <laughs> I don't really want to fight him when the owls are around. <laughs> okay, you know what? We're just gonna be glad with what we got. Be glad with what we got and look. We're going to be rewarded with this. We got a nice little chest and some arrows. Oh, we got some arrows. Well, if we have more arrows, a glider made from these guys would be fantastic. Well, that was easy. We just got to find our way home. Making our way back home. Do, do. Do, 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 I don't know the song. Do, 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 Oh no! Alright, um, level 9 Nightwing. <laughs> I should not have fought him with a level 20 something alpaca. Oh, okay, you know what? Don't attack anymore. These pals are too low level for you, Melpaca. Melpaca and your little leg warmers. You are a fierce, fierce boy. I just realized my. Melpaca is a male. I shall call him Mel. Here we are back at our base. 
Now, what I want to do is look at our new Lucky Pal, our Lucky Cremus, and check out our Nightwings before we go here. So, let's open our Pal box and... The Cremus gathers and may drop wool. Alrighty. Well, and that one's a work slave. That's perfect. Who do we have that does our gathering? We have the chicken, but I like the eggs. Who else just does get... We have two chickens. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this little chicken out and put the Cremus in. There's our lucky Cremus. Oh, and some eggs. Somebody made eggs for us. Is it a she or a he? Let's check out our Cremus. The Cremus is a he. He is very handsome. And before we check out our night wings, the eggs reminded me of what I would like to make, if we can, is a feed bag. So let's see, can we make it? Yes, we can. I'm gonna show you how this works. Acquire the feed bag, and then you open your inventory. You don't have to equip the feed bag. It is just there. Do you see at the bottom of the screen where I have a food slot now? and the others are locked, you're going to have to unlock progressively larger feed bags. You can't craft that same one again. You only get the one slot with the small feed bag. But what I can do is take these eggs and drag all 44 down there. And then what that does is anytime my pal party is hungry or anytime I am hungry, it will take food out of that bag automatically. So when I had to stop that boss fight to feed Malpaca, I would not have had to do that if I had already had the food bag equipped. I hope that makes sense. We have a dainty eater. That's good, that's the male. And then the female, oh no, we have two males. Okay, that's fine. So we have a work slave and a dainty eater nightwing. That would only be ideal for around camp and they gather, that's all they do. So I don't really care to have a Nightwing around the camp, but I do want one in my party. They're both, let's see, level nine, level 10. I guess the Dainty Eater, let's go ahead and put that in place of Daydream. And then one final thing, we have our Celeray. That means we are going to need to craft gloves for the Celeray and use the Celeray as a glider. So we're going to replace Dinosum with our Celeray and start leveling up him level 15. So I could unlock this. I need two tech points to unlock Nightwing Saddle and I need one tech point for the glider, for Celeray's gloves. So we need three more tech points. I should not have spent those earlier, but that's not that big a deal because I have some other fast travels. All I have to do is go exploring and I'll get some tech points and I forget what all the other ways are to get tech points. So I just need to play this a little bit, get some tech points, and then we can unlock the saddle and the gloves. So I guess that's going to be the next episode. If you love Pal World and other cute sim and survival games, please consider subscribing. And if you want to be extra nice, drop a like or a comment down below and I will see you next time.